Friends, welcome to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher Classroom, where we inquire, explore, and engage in a variety of science topics through hands-on learning. In today's video, we are going to be looking at elephant's toothpaste and chemical reactions, what is a catalyst, and how does elephant toothpaste actually occur? We're going to take a few ingredients and create a foamy substance that will look like it's being squeezed out of a tube. If you like this type of experiment, then stay tuned so that you can do this experiment with me. Remember, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Click that subscribe button and the notification button so that you can receive more videos like this in the future. All right, let's get started on this elephant toothpaste. First, we're going to talk about some of the ingredients that we're going to use today. You have heard of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is an antiseptic that is used for cuts and scrapes and bruises to kill the bacteria on the opening. It is made of two atoms, hydrogen and oxygen, and it is H2O2. Well, you've heard of water, which is H2O, another liquid. Well, when we break down hydrogen peroxide, we get oxygen 2 and we get water, H2O. Well, the oxygen 2 is the bubbles that foam, but they move in a very slow rate. So, we need for this experiment today, we need a catalyst. A catalyst is just another substance that's going to increase the rate of a chemical reaction. And so, for the catalyst that we're going to use today, we're going to use yeast. Now, remember, yeast is used to leaven bread or some type of um, like, you know, it could be biscuits, it could be uh, just something that you're baking with, and it helps it to rise. And so we're going to use the yeast to help the reaction move faster today. The other ingredients that we're going to use is going to be Dawn dishwashing liquid, but it can be any type of liquid soap. Now, why do you think we're using the liquid soap? What does the liquid soap, or what will the liquid soap cause to happen during this reaction? Think about that. We will need some type of bottle, some type of, it can be a plastic bottle, it can be a glass bottle, but that has a small opening at the top. You're going to need some warm water for the yeast to mix it together. A tablespoon, one fourth cup. I have a large pan, some gloves. Now I will tell you, you can touch this uh, once the foam starts. You can touch it because there's no uh, chemicals in here that will burn you. But I'm going to wear gloves for safety. Also, I have on my eyewear, and I would wear goggles if I did not have on eyeglasses. So goggles are needed for this experiment. You will also need food coloring as an option. You don't have to have it, but food coloring really gives it the look so that, uh, that you would want. Now that we know the materials that we're going to use, Let's get ready and just see how these ingredients mixed together will create our elephant toothpaste. Okay guys, let's get started. We're first going to add one fourth cup of hydrogen peroxide. Now 
Now you could use a funnel. We're going to add a tablespoon of dish soap. Have you thought about what this dish soap is going to do? What's the purpose of it? Why do we need this? All right, let's take our bottle and swirl it. Mix that up. Now we're going to take our food coloring. Now I'm going to add it along the side. You don't have to do it this way. I'm going to add some in the middle also. And you need about 10 drops, 10 drops of food color. Now we're going to make our yeast. We're going to add a tablespoon of yeast and two tablespoons of warm water and stir for about 30 seconds. Now we're going to pour it in and let's see what reaction we get. As it shot out through the top, you can see the foaminess of the toothpaste as it came out, and you can see the bubbles also. So our catalyst, the yeast, made the reaction go fast. During this process, if you would have touched the bottle, the bottle is warm, so it gives off an exothermic process, meaning that the, as you touch, it is going to feel warm and giving off this warm energy through this chemical reaction. Well, did you know that not only are catalysts just used for something like this, catalysts can be used even for our own body. When we eat food and food breaks down, the catalyst that's in our body are enzymes. And these enzymes break down the food and gives us the energy that we need to do all the things that we like to do. From sleeping, to walking, to reading, to studying, to uh, playing video games, playing football, whatever it is, we have that catalyst to break down the food in our body so that we can have the energy. Well, the yeast was the catalyst, remember, and it broke down and was uh, able the chemical reaction to react faster and gave off the energy. All right, so our next part, guys, is let's look at changing the experiment. And this is the part that you're going to do. Now it's your turn to conduct the experiment, Elephant's Toothpaste. You have some great background information and you saw the experiment that I conducted. I want you to select one of these questions or come up with your own question. What will happen if you change the size or shape of the bottle? Will that make a difference? Will it come out faster? 
Will it come out uh, at a different rate, a different shape? Or which ingredient could increase the foam and make it bigger? Could it be the yeast? Could it be the dishwashing soap? Could it be the uh, hydrogen peroxide? I want you to test this out. Once you select your question, write your hypothesis as to what you think will happen. Remember, a hypothesis is an educated guess. As young scientists, we're making guesses and testing out to see if our hypothesis is valid or not. Once you do your hypothesis, gather your materials. Remember safety, to have safety goggles, and you might want to wear gloves. Conduct your experiment, and while you're conducting the experiment, collect your data and write it in your science journal. Then, come up with a conclusion based on your hypothesis, and let me know what happened based on the question that you selected. All right, let's have some fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video today, guys, and let me know the results of your experiment, leaving me a comment below. Have fun doing this experiment, because science is fun, and change it up as many ways as you would like to. Remember, as a young scientist, it's fun to explore and inquire, but remember to collect your data and come up with your conclusion to your experiment. Well, friends, thank you for spending time with me today and conducting your own experiment. I hope to see you next time at Michelle Gay Science Teacher Classroom. Have a great week. See you soon.